Most of us go a whole day without really thinking about it, but could we live for just one minute if it were gone? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today we're asking what if the world lost oxygen for one minute? There is a bit of a possible double interpretation here, what if we lost air? for a minute and what if all the oxygen molecules in the world disappeared? One would be awful, the other would be catastrophic. Because I love you and I don't believe in questions unanswered where possible, I'm going to answer both. If we lost air for a minute, there would understandably be mass panic, although panic is terrible for a lack of oxygen. The more your body panics, the more oxygen it needs, meaning you're more likely to pass out. If the oxygen went, we would need to conserve our energy. We would also really need to be indoors. Why? Well, because oxygen makes up the ozone layer and it deflects UV rays. Without it, we would have a greater risk of exposure and serious sunburn. The sky would become a lot darker, a lot like the sky towards the end of dusk. This is because there would be fewer particles in the atmosphere to scatter the blue light from the sun. The air would also lose around 21% of its pressure, making our ears pop and making us feel lightheaded. Most dramatically, perhaps, would be the lack of fire. Fires need oxygen to burn. This goes for internal combustion engines that's integral to cars and aeroplanes. If we lost oxygen for just one minute, cars and planes would literally stop working, which could be really catastrophic if you're in the sky. Of course, nothing would be as catastrophic as if we lost all oxygen molecules altogether. That would pretty much be a civilization ender. Oxygen can be found in the majority of compounds on Earth, not just in the atmosphere. Oxidization means that metals don't bleed together when they touch. Without oxygen, metals would combine, breaking multi-metal electronic devices right off the bat. Although really, that would be the very least of our worries. The Earth's crust, for example, is 47% oxygen. Without it, it would crumble and collapse in on itself, causing irreparable structural damage to the Earth's surface. This would of course cause the mother of all worldwide earthquakes, although without oxygen, everything made of concrete would have already crumbled into a dust. You know what also would be kind of dust? <laughs> yeah, us. Don't worry about choking when you inhale all of that fallen building dust, our bodies are almost 60% water. You know what makes water? Two particles of hydrogen and one particle of oxygen. Without the O in H2O, we would become bones and gassy particles. Nice. Speaking of water, say goodbye to the ocean. Without all that oxygen, the ocean would turn to hydrogen, which is a lighter element and would begin to drift off up. Eventually, without the ozone layer, the hydrogen gases would bleed out into space, never to return. Marine life will obviously perish, although as almost all living things contain oxygen particles, they were doomed from the start. If all of the oxygen was gone, even just for one minute, everybody would die. Cars and planes would break down, the sky would be dark, buildings would crumble, the earth would collapse in on itself, and the oceans would evaporate, leaving a rugged shell of a land. Of course, if it were just the air we breathe, we would probably be fine. Probably. But still, doesn't this video give you a fine appreciation for that life-giving element that is oxygen? What a gaseous babe it is. Here's to you, oxygen old pal. Never leave us. Seriously though. Thanks guys for tuning in to this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. What is your favourite element in the periodic table? Aside from our mate oxygen, I'm gonna have to go with magnesium, but there is a special place in my heart for all of the noble gases. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below, and heck, why not suggest what kind of video you would like us to make next? I'm Rebecca Felgate, I'll see you in the next video. For now, thumbs up for oxygen. Remember to stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.